think this is recording, right? We're having a quick walk around of the garden just to show everybody what it actually looks like. That was what's left of an old pond. It's just got to be filled in this year. Now, it's a fairly long garden. We've kept the centre strip as a child friendly section, obviously, once the pond's gone. Have a little wander. Right, we've got a small herb garden. And I just started this one up. We've got some different types of mint in the planters at the back with some bulbs either side. There's going to be an IBC sitting here on a stand connected up to the guttering to collect some rainwater from there. The porch I've got to rebuild this year because this is starting to go a bit rotten. <laughs> I'm going to go over to the main garden part. Obviously there's some bits and bobs they've got to go in when we've done the nature pond down the bottom part which I'll talk about in a second. Let's see, there's some of the IBCs that have got to go in, some decking boards. The decking boards are actually for around the fence lines to separate the gardens. So they'll be going along on the floor along the bottom of the fence all the way down right down to the bottom and then right the way across here that's what excuse the camera work it's the first time i've used the gimbal well there's another ibc that's going to be collect connected up to the guttering from the garage and from the house I'm going to put a little link up on the bottom there so it drops down so all the rainwater can be caught some blue barrels over there for planters that's the collection of pallet timber over on this section here the idea is there's going to be a small potting shed going over there and then in this gap here there'll be a small chicken run greenhouse we'll come back to that in a minute all right now the idea with this section is there's going to be a small polytunnel down in the lower section with some more raised beds coming up this way on this section here there's going to be a three or a four bay pallet compost bin with another raised bed down the back of that it's the only two that i've got in at the moment we've got a couple of varieties of garlic there's some shallots and some onions i've got some leeks to put in in the little gap at the end here the reason I made the beds the way I did, rather than just having dead straight ones, because you, you actually get an extra four by four bed in the middle part there. Right. That's a soil tremel I've made out of a cement mixer with a dustbin. So I lay that over onto its side and put the soil in to be sieved out to get all the weed roots and such like out. A little bit of celeriac I've still got growing, but that will be almost done soon. Down to the wife's part. See if I can get this running straight. For some reason, I think I hit the button. There we go. Obviously, Vicky's not so secret garden because everybody knows it's there now. That's the wife's little summer house. There, 
does her sewing in there and um, decoupage, which is stuff with tissue paper. Got the rhubarb growing. That one there. It's a little sort of bug tower, I suppose you call it, for bugs and insects and all that sort of stuff. Come down to the end of the fence. Got a really nice view, just goes straight out into the fields. There's one of the mutts, that's Bella. Right, and along the fence line, I don't know if you can see, I've planted a native hedge, so they're all UK plants. Willow, hazel, holly, there's some bay in there. There's, there's all different types, I can get a list if anybody actually wants to know. Um, we've got fruit trees, I think that one's a cherry. That's a pear tree. What I've done to try and stop having to cut so many of the branches out, I've just braced them up so that they flare out when they grow, rather than how I did it with, let me just see if I can zoom in, with the apple over here, because that's why I've had to cut so much of it out because it still started crossing over itself. So hopefully this one will grow a little bit better. What have we got here? That's... Yeah, that's a little plum opal. Let's have a little look at the garden. So this is the view from down the bottom, sort of coming back up towards the house. I think that's, what have we got here? Oh, yeah, Granny Smith apple. It's another cherry. Right, the idea for this part of the garden, if I'll just turn around again, around this area here, we're going to be doing a fairly big nature pond with some rocks and big stumps around it and that for the wildlife to sort of hide away in. That's partly what these logs here are for. We head back up. Have a little look in the greenhouse. Right. As you can probably tell from the height, it's a very short greenhouse. It doesn't help the fact that I'm over six foot, so I have to be a bit careful here. But what I'm intending to do is to dig a trench in the floor. So rather than doing what a lot of people do is do the beds either side, I'm actually going to dig a trench in the centre and put the boards inside so I step down into it for when I come into the greenhouse. So that should make it a bit easier. This is my staging that I made up with some, it was some shelving I had left over, but they have a, a thin um, MDF top on which wouldn't withstand water. So I've used pallet wood to brace up to that. Got some sweet peas growing, a couple of plants that I've forgotten what they are. Some bay. That was some sage that somebody gave me, but it's not doing too well. We have some mustard greens, black kale, normal kale. They've got to be repotted soon. 
some citrus trees, I think it was two lemons and a lime. Got my seed potatoes all chitting away, so we'll get some of them in soon. I'm the same as a lot of other people these days, I actually grow mine in the black pots down there. That one's got ochre in it at the moment, so we're seeing if that sprouts up. We have some more ochre plants, um, turmeric down in the bottom ones down there to see if we can get anything going with that one. Mashua, so another ch uh, tuba, some Jerusalem artichokes, the fus fuchsia type ones, so they're the smoother varieties. Oak seedlings, but I'm not 100% sure that these are going to take. I think I let them get a bit too dry. Um, this is the potting table. I actually built this yesterday. So uh, it has this little shelf. The shelf's pretty redundant, but I've more made it up that high to give it some stability. I can put obviously little things up there, pencils and such like. But the main thing is, it's a stainless steel tray that I had left over from years and years ago. So I built the bench around it with old pallet wood. Mm, got some roses. Uh, the long tray over there, that's the leeks that have got to go in down the garden soon. There's some soft fruit trees, there's a small fig. Um, some more soft fruits, these are fairly new ones. So we're just waiting to see if they come up okay. And a few other different bits and bobs. It's, you know, it's, it's a work in progress, same as everybody else's garden at the moment. I'll do a little tour inside the garage next time. But other than that, that's it for now. So, speak to you next time.